What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. With Iron Banner out again, I need to make some space. I need to make some space on my characters and in my vault, so I figure it's time to do another exotic Ingram opening. I believe we have nine of them here, and if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now I think we're going to start off on the boots, because there's really nothing I need on the boots. I've got all the boots multiple times. Here we go getting the Peregrine Greaves, probably one of my least favorite boots. Then again, honestly, I'm not a big fan of any of the boots. The ones I use the most are the Bones of Yo on my Hunter, and it's just for that extra jump in the King's Fall raid when I'm doing the ship jumping puzzle. Other than that, I really never use these, but I know a lot of people really like having fun with the Peregrine Greaves on their Titans in PvP. I think let's move over to our special weapon and see what we end up picking up here. And it looks like we got a Telesto, and that is really cool and interesting because a lot of people have been messaging about the Telesto recently. That's because they've been checking out my top five favorite exotic weapons in the Taken King, and the Telesto does make an appearance on that list. I really like this gun a lot. With the Telesto, you end up dealing out damage with fusion rifles a bit different from all others. It doesn't actually deal out the damage in the bolts. It instead fires little sticky bolts that stick to the guardian or the enemy, and then they explode later. And those explosions can then chain on to other enemies, making you kind of a mini orb generating machine. I really like it a lot. It's really nice to have that stability with smart drifter control, because you don't care so much about the range as much as making sure all your shots hit one enemy. Telesto is a really good gun. If you haven't used it in mobbing in PvE, try it out. I think we'll move over to heavy weapons. I'm still missing the drop of the super good advice, so who knows if I end up getting it. Looks like I am not getting it right here. Instead, I got the Dragon's Breath. Now, I did a review on the year 2 Dragon's Breath as well. If you haven't picked it up because you're still remembering Dragon's Breath from year 1, pick it up. Napalm is significantly different, significantly better, and it's honestly what I thought this gun was going to be about from the beginning whenever I saw it in year one. But they even retrofitted the gun back then, so you're never going to see that old crappy gun again. A lot of the Dragon's Breath is different, including the magazine, but Napalm is a lot of fun. If you see people shooting fire lakes on the ground, that's the Dragon's Breath now. So if year one is still clouding your memories, give this one another shot. Let's see what we end up getting from our heavy, but first we're going to just clear out this blue junk. And for our final heavy Ingram, we end up grabbing another Thunderlord. Okay, so Thunderlord to me is just missing something. You know, if you even look, it doesn't even mention having a special perk, but it does have some Firefly type effect that goes off randomly. Still, overall, not a huge, huge fan of this gun, at least not for an exotic slot. It's a damage profile I like on my heavy machine guns, but in order to use its lightning rounds, you pretty much want to spam through all your ammo, and then you're just wasting heavy ammo, and heavy ammo is precious. So I'm really not a huge, huge fan of the Thunderlord. It looks amazing, it's a cool gun, it's ingrained into Destiny, but I think it needs something else. I think it needs another boost. I think we're going to go to our primary weapon next. We're going to save the helmets in armor for last. And we ended up picking up another last word. Now I actually grabbed my 310 last word just a little while ago. The first one that I got, I ended up using it as infusion fuel because I am really, really bad with this gun. But I'm trying to learn the intricacies of the gun because obviously it's a staple in PvP and Crucible. And I think I may have had an aha moment with it on the Cosmodrome. I think I may have seen how to use it best, but I don't know. I haven't tried it out in PvP just yet. It's not really on the top of my list just yet. I think we're going to go over to the Helmet Ingrams first, save the Chest Ingrams for last, and we ended up grabbing an Obsidian Mind. Now compared to when this first came out, this helmet really isn't as great as it was, but it still is really cool whenever you're on your Voidwalker, because whenever you kill enemies with the Nova Bomb, you end up actually gaining super energy from those Nova Bomb kills. And that's really nice, really nice in PvE for always keeping up your super. For my second helmet, I grab an Apotheosis Veil. Now, just like some of the other exotics that I don't actually own, it's because I didn't pick them up from Jure whenever he was selling them 
whenever I know I can just always go over to the blueprint station and grab these. Now this is pretty neat for the change that whenever you cast your super, you get your health back, plus your melee and grenade. So maybe chuck out your Nova Bomb, and then boom, whenever you land after killing some enemies, you've got your melee back, and you've got your grenade back. So that's pretty nice. Not a bad thing. It's just I like to wear some other stuff whenever I'm on my Warlock. But maybe this is up your alley. So we've done our helmets. We've done everything else. Let's go over to the chest Ingram and see if we get anything cool here. Looks like we grabbed some Void Fang vestments. And I was actually using these the other day whenever I was in the Kingsfall raid because mine was giving me sniper rifle ammo. And it's always nice to have extra sniper rifle ammo whenever you're doing the War Priest or Golgoroth. Just nice to always have. Now the cool thing about these is that you always spawn with grenade energy. So you're going to see these in Trials of Osiris. Though honestly, I don't see them as much as I did last year. I saw them a lot more last year. For my final chest, I get another pair of Void Fang vestments, so I think I'm going to turn these both into exotic shards, because exotic shards, we're starting to lose them. We are starting to lose them, <laughs> and I need to make a little bit of a reserve back. So that is my nine exotic Ingrams. We can now make a little bit more space for some potential new Iron Banner gear. What do you think the best thing I ended up grabbing? I think the most effective thing that I grabbed was the last word, obviously, for PvP. My favorite gun that I got would have been the Telesto right here. And that is it. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel to keep updated on daily Destiny content. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your Ingrams, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Telesto is the besto.